Number 42. Why would a sacrificial anode made of lithium metal be a bad choice? Great question. Always wanted to know this. Let's find out the answer. So why is lithium metal not a sacrificial anode? Now, a sacrificial anode is basically an anode that you pick to basically make another metal, not the anode, right? You're sacrificing one metal to be the anode so that the other metal that you want to protect is the cathode. Now, this is why it's a sacrificial anode because at the anode, on, you know, under spontaneous reactions, uh, an anode is always the one that is going to become oxidized, right? You're going to be, be undergoing oxidation. And the sad thing is that when something is becoming oxidized, that's when corrosion happens. So corrosion is like when iron rusts, right? When iron rusts, it be- turns a different color and it flakes and then the rust, you know, the rust is made again. So generally speaking, since that's, you know, very reactive and because iron doesn't have a protective layer, you would choose a sacrificial anode to pair with iron so that iron is the cathode and whoever you pick is going to be the one that's undergoing corrosion. So, so now the question is, is lithium a good choice to have corrode? Well, the answer lies in the half reaction cell potential of the lithium value. Now for lithium, you have, just like it says on the bottom here, you have a cell potential of negative 3.04 volts. Now, just by this value, right, negative 3.04 volts, that doesn't seem like a big number, right? We've seen much, much, much smaller numbers and much, much large, more, you know, bigger numbers just in the grand scheme of things. But in terms of cell potential, a negative 3 that's really low. Generally speaking, a, a cell potential, you maybe would see like negative 0.34 volts. You might even see a 1.2 volt, right? But a negative three, that's really low. And in terms of the scheme, you know, of, of chemistry, if you're at an extreme, so in this case, it's extremely low value, that translates into very reactive. Now, another reason why lithium is extremely reactive is its size, right? Lithium, if I just drew quickly a periodic table, lithium is like in the top, the top uh, corner over here. And remember, as you go down a group, the size of the atoms get larger and larger and larger. So lithium is pretty small. Generally speaking, the smaller you are, so, you know, lithium and fluorine, generally speaking, those are extremely reactive because they're very small and you're dealing with electrons here. So we have a very reactive reaction. So would this be able to be a sacrificial anode? Generally speaking, if you're sacrificing the anode, you want to have the, you know, that sacrifice over a longer period of time. With lithium, there's going to be no time no time for this redox reaction to occur. Lithium is basically going to lose its electron, boom, just like that. So that's why lithium metal is a bad choice for a sacrificial anode. It all comes down to reactivity. And this is not easily controlled. So you would not pick it. You would just pick another, uh, you know, metal to sacrifice to, you know, whatever metal you want to hold as a cathode you would do that. So I hope this makes sense. Let me know in the comments, subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for viewing the video and I hope you all are having a great day out there. Let's keep studying hard and tell your friends, tell your classmates about this channel and just gets the word out there that this, you know, channel exists. I think it's pretty cool. What do you think? Hopefully this helped and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.